So my um, next half of the day, um, which is the Tuesday, twenty fourth for the fourth, um, I was going. I was redoing the camera follow for the um, the end of the first level. Um, I got the tutorial done, so I went in back into testing for this one as there was still like a few problems with um, that camera follow. The, um, the there was a, it was quite the camera was quite jittery when it followed the fruit once that had fallen from the tree and comes down the scene. And um, it showed quite a lot of the grey background when first starting following the fruit and at the end. And because if the fruit then falls off the map, it carries on following it. So obviously that you don't want that to happen and that the game would show just the grey background behind all the artwork. Um, and it seemed a bit more slow when it was falling down because it stop, uh, stopped and like the camera stopped and started a lot rather than being one smooth motion. So it just seemed a lot slower than it I was actually. Um, so I um, changed a lot of the gravity um scales of the objects so the boulders and the fruit up the top so that went down the scene um a lot quicker because um during testing people said it still felt rather slow so um i created for the camera follow instead i took away that it followed the fruit and then stopped at a, a single point as it held there was about three different points that it had to then follow and stop and start again which you know had too much then had too much data going through it um it wasn't easy to manipulate if i needed to change the um the script in so i had one position um near the bottom of the scene that matched the um camera follows um bottom marker so the camera didn't go further past the artwork at the bottom of the scene and then i set it to a bit faster speed than normal following so this tracks diagonally sort of diagonally down the screen where in the path that the fruit is taking so it goes, um, follows the fruit nicely in a smooth motion and then whether it goes off the map or stays on, um, it stays in the same place. So there's no more, um, there's no more bugs with that camera follow now. Once I got the um, camera follow done, um, my next task today was going back to the um, ladder pull up testing, um, which I hadn't figured out before and need, um, have done a bit of work on previously, trying different um, methods to get it looking much better than it currently is. Um, so my first um, attempt of the day was using an ad force, which I'd seen some people in forums using. So when they reached a collider up near the ladder, it added a force to it, which sort of it would just pushed the game object up towards the um, up towards um, where the uh, platform is, and then I'd um, add in a, a trigger there to then have make the um, platform appear, um, so that when it like jumps up and then eventually falls back down, it will just fall back onto the platform rather than back down the ladder. As if is it like when he so is it simulating that when he gets to the top of the ladder, he sort of pulls himself up, jumps, lands, and then can walk on the platform and then move back down the ladder anyway. Um, I tried this with several um, different scriptings, like increasing the velocity or adding force, and it just didn't work very well. And it was hard to like gauge the right um, velocity to add all the force um, and then add the trigger, which made it a bit like quite buggy. Didn't really work properly because um, the masses as well was. Um, was quite high on the seco because I used the uh, correct masses for um what heat like it would be because using the correct, actual correct masses um, makes the physics engines a lot better and um for um for unity so I um after failing that I just reverted back to the a uh, transform position move but instead I reduced the seco's collider the box collider so the um there was still the the bottom end was still near his feet but then the top end was more in his chest rather than his head, which it wouldn't make much difference to any of the get like collides in the gameplay because not much uh, he actually collides with much other of the game objects as rather all the game objects interacting with each other. So that means when he gets further up the ladder, the um, the animation that then so I just use the same as a collide like a collider triggered the animation to play, and then would transform it up as an offset in the y axis of about I think it was like fifteen or sixteen. Um, so the when I did that due to the collider, it hit later um, when going up the ladder. So um, the it hit later. Um, so then the animation started like further near the top. So it looks like he is grabbing the bot like the bottom of the ledge, and then pulls himself up. Um, there's still it's it's not completely smooth, but I think that's the best in a two D. Um, space that's the best we can do like the best that i can do currently and i don't want to spend too much time just doing this because it's quite a small aspect in the respect we still needs to do a lot of testing um with just the general gameplay as well and artwork implement and make sure that's all fixed so i think spending too much time on this such a late stage will be a bit of a hinder 
um, to getting it finalised and looking as best as it can and like having a fuller game with all the UI involved as well. So I think this is done. That's done for now for me. And then so now I have to move on to um, testing the game, playing the latter stages and um, adding this and adding this one into the build so it can be part of the adventure system and the uh, game sequence.